My brother at a very young age was an activist. Um, I don't know um, when he made that decision, but it was a very young age. He organized the first walkout out of a high school that doesn't exist anymore. It was just a ninth grade high school and he uh, had the students walk out because we didn't appear in the history books. So he was already looking for the Latino history, the Mexicans history in, in this country or even in our own country uh, of Me Mexico. And we didn't find it and he saw that as a, a disrespect of who we were. My brother Rudy was killed on June 8th, 1983. And then we heard that the library was being built and then someone came up with the great idea, we should name it Rudy Lozano because he was a hero from this community. The library is gonna be built. But there was a real big fight about that because the people who fought for the library had already picked the name. And then we came up and then they ended up putting urnas, like little uh, voting boxes in the community. And because Rudy was recently killed, he was more present in their hearts uh, and the spirit of the people. So he won hands down. In my opinion, Rudy was um, involved in fighting for workers' rights and he was a community leader. He was fighting uh, for the rights of the immigrant, Mexican immigrant, and he was fighting for better education and jobs and all of those things. So Rudy was assassinated. He was fighting at that time for the rights of the worker, the Del Rey Tortilleria. They were, uh, they were fighting for better wages and they got um, deported and he brought them back and they continued to fight. You know, so he was fighting on all three fronts. He was fighting for workers' rights, political rights, and he was in the community. Harold Washington recognized him as the Latino leader that could move from all the communities. After the assassination of my brother Rudy, Richard M. Daly, uh, which is the son, he, we had a meeting and we had attorneys and we had created uh, a commission to defend the rights, I mean, to a commission to monitor, it was a monitoring commission, the investigation of Rudy Lozano because we couldn't trust anybody. Because Rudy was killed and he, and, and it looked like a total conspiracy. First of all, it was a professional assassination and they're trying to say it was a 17 year old kid, which I am absolutely positive he didn't kill my brother. Because this is the type of kid that, you know, shoot you from across the street or in a drive-by, not gonna go knock on your door, ring your doorbell, come all the way up, and then shoot you point blank, like in the sign of the cross, like it happened. Everybody wants to know the truth, like what really happened.